Hey guys, this is MA569, and I'm going to be playing some more Maze Runner for you all. Uh, right now I am playing the Practitioner Kit. You saw I just got some nice 5 cobblestone right there, but as opposed to my usual method of get 4 wood and make wood sword and wood tool, I have decided I am going to go make my stone tools, and in that way I can have a good head start because my plan for this game is to rush. Uh, unfortunately, I don't quite remember it all, so I make a spare crafting table and I make a stone axe and almost make a stone hoe because uh, I get a bit laggy but then I make my wood sword by accident just because that's just my habit because I'm smart like that and I'm just gonna go kill some animals over here and nothing too major yet so the practitioner kit probably what you are more curious about is a kit with heavy metal 2 light eater 2 and regeneration 2 and the reason I really like this kit is it gives you a very good late game advantage as you can just keep running throughout the maze and you don't have to worry about food getting low as much. And I, So I took all the animal food because I mean like that and you saw I got some more there and uh, some more food there that is. So I'm pretty much set and I'm heading, what is this, uh, F2 now. I see a guy with a custom kit and I just kind of mouse over it to see what I'm getting into but I'm still heading north. I'm getting a bit low on food, so I just, you know, down that cooked fish I found, and then I find Aqua, and so run into Aqua, but they were all gone, so I have a very difficult fight right here. You can kind of see there was a guy behind the maze walls, just kind of perusing in the maze, but I decide I'm just going to go for the princess, and I kill the princess, and that's a kill count of one princess, which felled four players so far, and I was kind of chatting with that guy in the pregame lobby. It kind of felt bad that I killed him right away. He had a YouTube channel, was planning on uploading, but, you know, I killed him, so... Uh, that Betch guy, Dazzling XD, playing the Betch kid, is getting some kills right, uh, about now. And I see a red guy in the distance and decide to go for him because I've got the, uh, the what is it called? I've got the time to still rush, and I get another stone sword, which is kind of uh, useless. I see Aqua uh, base right there, so I know I'm kind of going the wrong way. I see this guy hump to bump. He doesn't have a sword or anything. I think he's going to be an easy fight, but he manages to get back in the maze somehow. And then uh, this other guy, Garrett9907, comes through and. He's a uh, mapper. He's trying to back up and, you know, get out of the way. But I managed to kill him, and he placed some chests down. So I got to kind of explode those from a distance so that way I don't get uh, blown up myself if someone, you know, hits them later. And uh, So I charge right now, and this girl, uh, Proxy Lim, hits me two times, and the other guy hits me. So I decide I need to retreat, and I had four hearts right there. But uh, here's where the practitioner ability really comes in handy because... Uh, Right now I have Light Eater full uh, health and I can regenerate one and a half hearts uh, every, I think it's three or four seconds. So I go back in, kind of forget which way I had to go. So I'm just running back in and I'm charging this space with full health. Remember I had regen a total of six hearts or so. And so I get inside here, I turn around and close the door for, you know, no reason because I'm smart like that. And I go attack this guy in the house. I was kind of trying to pick him off, but he runs back in and I think I'm going to be in, the, in for another big fight. But... Uh, the guy holding the princess decides to run by me, and he's running to the house, and he goes to open the door, unfortunately, which means the princess drops. So I'm trying to hit the princess because I know I won't be able to kill all of them, and I kill her right there. Just real nice. That was a nice uh, five-player team, actually, that I took out myself. And steal the guy's chain chest plate because I do that. And That's in one instance of where that pract practitioner ability really comes in handy because, well, uh, without it, I would have been... Uh, Probably I would have had a lot harder time because I would have had to wait a lot longer to regen and I wouldn't have uh, been able to kind of catch him by surprise. I don't think they were expecting me back so early. Um, anyways, I'm just going to kind of run in the maze a little bit here. Um, I think I'm heading back home. I don't really remember what I was doing at the time. Um, but I kind of, you know, grabbing the chests. I'm a full inventory because I didn't really go through and sort it. So there's these extra stone swords and these wood swords clogging up space, which is always rather frustrating because people decide to make like a bajillion of them. And I always seem to get a ton of wood swords in my inventory. Uh, so just, you know, going through the maze, grabbing any chests I see, nothing too fancy. I do manage to get back home and I decide to just skip forward the night because nothing happened in the night. Um... Grab my new supply crate. Uh, I see I've got some bone meal, so I decided to bone meal the wheat instead of the melons over there because I'm planning to uh, abandon the base. And I won't need melons, but one did pop. That's kind of cool. So I'm just kind of, uh, you know, doing here. I do break the uh, some of the melon stalks so that way I could get a melon seed, which I did get, which 
that's useful because if I do uh, need to bunker down in another base and I had bone meal that I, you know, didn't just waste, I could kind of put it down, and usually you can get uh, two melon blocks from it. Uh, so right now I am griever tracking, and if you don't know what that means, it means that you follow the grievers to the griever hole, and then you follow them from the griever hole to the base, because remember, they will usually spawn by other people, and then they will go to the griever hole. So in the first half of the day or so, uh, there's usually groovers all over the place running back. You can see heavy metal 2 is coming in really handy. I just got iron pants and iron boots. So now I've got six armor bars, plus I've got that passive regeneration ability, which means that in my fights I will have a nice snowball effect as I absorb more damage and they'll, I will get to regen, you know, I take less damage, and so I can regen and get more health as the fight drags on. And you saw I was at aqua, now I'm at red, and probably confused because, well, I was just there, and I had taken these two teams out, but the Grievers had spawned here for some reason. I'm not totally sure why. I debate going out, but I don't really know uh, where to go, so I decided to kind of just stay in red, and I'm going to, you know, just dig here and make myself, uh, just kind of barricade myself in, skipping ahead. Uh, I decided to use the layouts instead, and so uh, right around here, I believe, I'm going to find my own base. Actually, no, this is purple base, all right. Uh, I found my base, and then I used that to find purple base. And So with purple base, I see him standing on top of his base. I take out my bow, and I, take, and I get two shots on him, and I didn't get that third one, unfortunately. So I, I'm not sure if he's got a teammate, which I checked there, but I only see the one guy. Uh, I kind of run around the front here, and I... He's standing out in the open again, so I managed to hit him, and that's kill again, which was really nice with the bow and arrow only. I didn't have to actually, uh, you know, shoot him. Uh, sorry, hit him with my sword. So I see the other purple guy, and I uh, hit the princess off the tower, and so kind of wait for the purple guy to get closer because then I can just uh, kill the princess and kill him or her while doing so, and then I can get his or her loot right there because I'm kind of a bit of a jerk like that. But whatever and so that brings the kill count up to three princesses and 11 players killed surprisingly i've only actually killed uh two players the all the other players have fallen when i killed the princess remember there was the team of four reds as well as the other uh, the team of four aqua in fact and as well as that uh whatever that guy's name is the uh, purple guy and so i've got nearly full iron here actually the only thing i'm missing is the iron chest plate but i do have a chain so that's a nice seven bars of armor and I'm kind of just gonna camp here for the night because well there isn't really much I can do I'm kind of making a cool inter uh, wall thingamajiggy here with the sand because Grievers can go up one block but they can't go up two blocks and so I kind of just make it two block high to get up at the base and two blocks to get up here so that way they can't just get in somehow in case you know like a block broke or they kind of glitched up it's more of like an insurance policy I decided to go out and get the water because you know, if I'm set on fire, the princess is set on fire, I'll want the water. Unfortunately, I didn't have the thing before, so I couldn't make an infinite water source and uh, flood the area. I got some carrots, so I used the bone meal I had to grow those rather than any of the wheat I had. And remember, this guy's loot is still here. Quickly grab that. And they had cobblestone, which is really nice. I decided to change out my uh, chain chest plate for a protection 2 leather chest plate because uh, protection 2 is pretty powerful. And remember that snowball effect I mentioned means that that is going to be much more useful. Uh, just skipping ahead, I had come back to my base here to uh, continue on with the layouts. That's just how it worked out. I, you know, went to purple and then I came back here and I uh, just grabbing some more stuff in the chest. And I see blue right there. They are the last ones in the game. This is a 1v1, sort of. And so I'm just kind of trying to find their base. It's, Maze is not helping. I feel like I'm just getting further and further away, and I'm really hoping I'm not going to end up circling the base, not finding the way in, because that's always frustrating. And then I, you know, I don't want to get trapped outside, so I'm just rushing through the maze as fast as I can, making sure my health is still up. But in a minute here, I believe I come out and I finally find the base entrance. Uh, I did mention finally. There we are. And so they're on their sky base, so I get one shot, and I. Uh, don't think I got a second shot, but I might have. But anyways, I managed to kill her in one or two shots. It was a nice PvP win at the end, mostly because I had a ton of armor and the better sword plus the bow. I hope you enjoyed the game. That was the practitioner kit, and here are the results. Kind of an improvised. As you can see, I killed several princesses. Okay, only three and 12 players. And if you liked the video, please... Uh, 
you know, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Ciao.